Hey guys, um, so Brandy has new music out and this song is called Borderline. Um, it's basically, it's basically, um, about her just kind of like losing herself after, you know, being in a relationship and, um, basically the, the person did, you know, cheats on her or the person mistreats her, the person basically wasn't good to her and, she was based the song is called borderline and she's saying that basically she loses it you know after the relationship ends you know and some people you know get like that when serious traumatic events happen to them they can't handle it and they just like end up in a psych unit or they end up like you know if you watch the video you'll see basically she's in a unit and she basically is in the most severe form because she's in the padded walls where she's a danger and a harm to others and herself so it's not just like oh you're in a unit and you can walk about and be around people no you gotta this this is severe so it's like this dude really messed her up and then I'm reading this young lady who was brave enough to share her story she said I'm crying because I've been there it's like jail I suffer from mental illness and being played, backstabbed, emotional roller coaster in relationships, then a tragedy got me locked up in a mental institution twice. Some people just can't handle or deal with those type of situations. I went from jail to a mental institution and put there by my husband. So her husband put her there. I almost killed him. He told the judge of my mental disorder and that I wasn't taking my meds. From jail I went to the mental institution. Trust me, you don't you don't want to be there. When Brandy was falling over asleep from medicine, that's exactly how I was. I was in bad shape. I have four kids, so I had to take the meds or they won't let you out. But I'm glad my husband sent me there because as long as I take my meds, I'm okay. I don't want to ever go back there or hurt anyone because my psychosis can cause me to commit murder. I get therapy regularly. I'm in church and all that. It's a daily struggle. My kids need to, me to comply with my psychiatrist and take my meds. I wouldn't wish this or on a no, no on no one. I love you, Brandy. Video hits home for me. I mean, yeah, so with her, she basically um, went into psychosis. Basically, psychosis is, is when you check out of reality. You basically um, are out of touch with reality. And that is basically when the person is liable to uh you know commit murder due to mental illness or they harm themselves or other people and um you know shout out to her husband for like still being her husband because she said her husband he's still there obviously you know um and instead of her going to jail he was able to explain to the judge that you know she has a mental illness and so they put her in an institution instead of jail you know what I'm saying? I think that's really dope that her husband was there for her. And when you get married, you know, things like this through thick and thin, these are part of like good and bad. These are the bad times that God is talking about. Sometimes your partner, everyone comes with some sort of baggage. Her baggage was mental illness and there's different kinds. And so hers, um, she said that she went through a tragic situation and had to get put at a mental institution, went into a, a, a psychosis and um, basically had to take meds in order to get out and has to take meds continuously. But her husband, um, you know, was by her side and even saved her from going to jail because, you know, it can easily be misconstrued like, oh, well, this person is just a menace to society, but that person can very well be dealing with a mental illness no one knows about. So it's good that her husband stepped up for her. And um, I admire him because, you know, to be able to still be, for her to be able to still say that's my, my husband, like not my ex-husband, but my husband, meaning he's still there, um, That that's a beautiful thing. And he put her in the mental institution, which, which means he loves her because if he didn't, he would have just left. You know, he gave her, he put her somewhere he knew that she needed to be for the moment and she got four kids so I'm happy she's able to even be on YouTube and to be able to tell her story so the song is called borderline borderline is a personality disorder and um it definitely um it, it can cause these things that she's talking about like you know when someone with a borderline personality disorder can be a danger um can be like a harm or whatever the case may be um, so there's different types of mental, it's so many different types of mental illnesses. You got people that like I have anxiety, depression, you know, I have a mood disorder, 
my moods, you know, my anxiety, that's me. And then there are some people that have personality disorders. That's also um, a part of mental illness. There are some people that have severe mental illness where they have to be instituted, like they're in psychosis and they're like repetitively in that state and they need to stay there because that's just what their mental illness is like. So um, I really appreciate Brandy for even like singing about it and talking about how certain traumatic situations such as a breakup or anything can really send you over the edge. And um, my depression put me in a unit before um, feeling suicidal because I was depressed. So it's good that, you know, artists are talking about it. And um, she's singing about, you know, a relationship that caused her to end up in this unit. And in the, in the video, you can see her in the unit. Um, but in the in the most severe form, the padded walls. And so, um, um, yeah. And then in the end, I like how in the end, it says, one in five Americans is affected by mental health. One in five Americans is affected by a mental health condition each year. Depression impacts more than 17 million Americans each year. Me. Anxiety, depression, and PTSD are the most common mental health di conditions. I have anxiety, depression, and PTSD. Um, PTSD from my abuse. So um, one in five million, one in five Americans is affected by a mental health condition each year. Depression impacts more than 17 million Americans each year. Wow, the statistics. Depression impacts more than 17 million Americans each year. Anxiety, depression, and PTSD are the most common mental health conditions. Over 5.7 million American adults are impacted by bipolar disorder. Uh, bipolar disorder causes dramatic shifts in a person's mood, energy, and ability to think clearly. If you or someone you know is struggling, you are not alone. There are many supports supports, services, and treatment options available. For support, call the National Alliance on Mental Illness helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI. Um, and if you're in a crisis, you can also call the suicide hotline. So yeah, the most common mental illness is depression and anxiety. Over, over 17 million people have it. That's what I have. And PTSD is the most common ones. Then you have bipolar disorder. Then you have... Um, what else is out there? You have um personality disorders that's also in mental that's also in the mental illness bracket. You have all types of different things, psychosis, um neurosis, which is when you're in touch with reality. Your you, psychosis is when you're out of touch with reality. Neur neurosis is when you're in touch with reality but you're still um not stable as far as how a normal uh functioning mentally healthy human being would be. So, um, you know, these things are, com you know, the most common are mine, which is the depre depression, anxiety, and PTSD, but these things really happen and occur. And there's so much help out there for people um, with, with mental illness. And um, if you have a partner or if you have a friend or if you are yourself suffering from mental illness, um, you know, you just have to be brave and go to, to, the, to the doctor and not be afraid of stigma and go and, and speak and see what's wrong. And when you get that diagnosis, you comply with the treatment, you know, take your medication and make sure that you don't neglect your regime and what you're supposed to do, because that's basically like a, pers a person needing insulin for diabetes and they just stop taking their insulin, they're gonna die. You need to take your medicine for your mental illness. Cause if I stop taking my depression medicine, I'm gonna be really sad and depressed and then, um, maybe even become suicidal. So, or if I t stop taking my anxiety meds, um, I'll be very, 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 very anxious. And then therapy is important too, because when you go through traumatic events in your life, it can cause post-traumatic stress disorder, which is something traumatic happened and you, you're like traumatized from it. So, um, my psychiatrist was telling me like maybe three, four days ago, a week ago that he wants me to do in like therapy. He feels like I need a lot of therapy. So therapy is beneficial. And um, it helps to deal with that, um, those traumatic experiences. It helps to um, help heal, help you heal from that. And when you heal from a lot of your traumatic experiences, you, you notice that your depression gets better, your anxiety gets better. Because I notice that when I heal or when I think about 
when I get better when it comes to my circumstances or when I get better with like things that have happened to me, I notice my mood lifts and I'm in a better, you know, emotionally mental space. So, um, you know, it's it's a good, I love it. I love it. You know, so yeah, I go check out that Brandy Borderline and know the facts and statistic of mental illness. You're not alone. Um, don't let anybody shame you with their ignorance. You know, go out there to the psychiatrist. That's the first line. Go to the psychiatrist. They're the ones who are the doctors for the mind and they will tell you what's going on and then you go from there. And therapy is important as well to talk about your issues. So you're not alone. I've been there. I've been in a unit before. I've never been in any padded walls. I haven't, I don't have a severe, severe, um, I haven't, you know, been through anything like that before, but I have been in a unit where I've had a roommate and we just couldn't have any phones. We couldn't have anything. We couldn't have, I couldn't even have shoelaces because that's like a danger. Like what if you try to hang yourself or something like that or whatever, but I could walk around and be around people and, you know, have a roommate and others have to be in a padded wall because they are an extreme danger to themselves and society. So um, either way it goes, you're not alone and you're loved. And either either case, you know, you can recover from it. Diamond Flawless actually was talking about her situation where she went into a brief psych psychosis and the way she was acting people thought that she was just acting that way just to act that way no she was going through psychosis which is when you are out of touch with reality you you're not you're you've checked out of reality and that is exactly why she was in a unit um they took her to mount sinai i think and she's on meds now so diamond flawless was knows what it's like to be in that psychosis that this young lady had wrote about you know mental illness is real but it's treatable and it can it's manageable if you don't ignore it, if you take care of it. So just be, be, um, be, be, be woke about this stuff, you know, be, don't be ignorant. Don't, don't stigmatize, be woke and just go get that help. And, you know, codependency, it, all those type of things are issues, emotional issues and mental issues that people don't even know fall under the bracket of mental health. You know what I'm saying? So go get that help and and then help yourself. That's what I would say. So I w- y'all go watch Borderline by um Brandy. Borderline, like I said, is a personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder as a personality disorder. Go and watch the video and support Brandy.